on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. Plenty looking forward to seeing this, a capacity crowd here. Well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive matchup, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We'd like to see excitement and be entertained, but if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots to enjoy. Gets things running. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Alexandre Lacazette. He really is a top-class striker, Peter. His movement's so sharp and instinctive, and his first touch is usually bang on, giving him the best possible opportunity of, of getting an effort away. He's not just a goal poacher, though. He puts in a, a good defensive shift to pressing the opposition high up the pitch. Not quite. No argument for me on that one. Trincao. That is a terrific run. He's off on a marauding run. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Tierney. Overguard. Saka. Looking for a decent ball in, whipped it again. Jao Moutinho plays it towards the front. First quarter of an hour gone. It's not the game we were hoping for, Peter. I think both of these keepers could text about their respective uninvolvement. Jim Cowell! Well, that is rather wayward. Look, it, it was achievable, Peter, but it needed his best. Partey. Arsenal have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's, it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. to get it all wrong. That was created because of good lively movement which pretty much dictated the pass. Tierney. Partey plays it forward. Saka gets it out to the wing. Loose. Ruben Neves needs to get it forward quickly. Promising but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Partey drives it forward. Well waited. That's surely a foul free kick. Oh, the guard! Saka plays it backwards, and they'll try again. He's tried one. Oh, attempt. Wrong outcome. Party 
usually is so good from that range. He didn't quite connect as he can, though. Nelson Semedo. It'll be a throw in. The shot was enabled Peter due to such smart control and technique. Partey. Good challenge, he just stood firm. But then to get on the end of this. Trout calling for him to shoot. Real chance! What a wonderful goal! Well, players of his stature just live for moments like that. Another really important contribution as we near half time, and it can make such an impact on each mindset. All over in seconds, that's what they can do to you. That's just brilliant counter attacking football, and as soon as possession was theirs, it triggered a move of devastating speed that was just too hot to handle. A 1 0 lead established. Well, just listen to the reaction, I think you can... The whistle goes for half-time. There we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Some first-half thoughts? Well, I think there's plenty to be pleased about with that first-half display in terms of the score and the overall approach. Wolverhampton well, into the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead. They're ready up and running for the second half. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Lacazette looking to force his way through. Just brushed off the ball there. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Partey. Loses his balance and loses the ball. And here's the chance to counter. Raul. Over to the left. It's a fabulous position. Obamia. Hoists it forward. Semedo Martinelli is fouled. the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those breaking passes just to spread the play. And here's Aubameyang. Well, this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. <laughs> just has to be done. Obamia. Well, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Well, let's put a stop to that. And he's straight offside. Gabriel. Your impression so far, Jim? 
Well, Peter, if they're attempting to see out the game with such a, a narrow advantage, there's room for trouble. Uh, I just think they're sending out the wrong message. This could backfire. Ruben Nevers proves too strong there. It was on the back foot. Jimenez brings it out wide. Going through. Into the piece. Had a shot! Interference and very necessary. Oh, I didn't catch it right. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do. Changes here from both sides, in fact. And the finish! Oh, poor contact, nothing on the shot. Red Chaka. Forward it goes. Well played, he saw that coming. Arsenal are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they could still have a say. Pedro Neto. Pedro Neto. Defense has got rid of that. That's been one straight back. 1-0 as we head towards the end. Surely a shot! I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. Chambers. Wolverhampton just have to run down the clock. Odegaard. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Ninety minutes up, we're into stoppage time. Take back in. Partey. And that is it. The referee has seen enough. Terrific contest, it really might have tipped either way, the margins were tiny, just a goal in it, but that was enough.